All right, we're in, dude. We're in, baby. We're in, baby. Dude, we're welcome. Hey, babies, welcome. We're back, dude. All I want. All right, all I want to say, dude. I can't stop laughing. All I want to say yeah, yeah. is, sorry. sorry, congratulations <laughs> to Will Smith on the Oscar. Oh, dude, careful. <laughs> Did you forget? <laughs> Realist podcast. <laughs> And we're back, everyone. We're back. Episode 165. We love you. We missed you. Come on. Welcome back. Welcome home. You already know the podcast once again. If you're not on the video right now, just do it this once. And make sure you like and subscribe. Because we got, we leveled leveled up. Leveled up. Your boy leveled up. You know it. Your boy Uh leveled up. (laughs) Twice in one go. Uh Uh-oh. Leveled up. (laughs) He brought it back. I brought it it back back back. two times. Dude, we got the shelves on the back here. We got my nice plant. Shout out for Brissio from last time. We got the, my mic's kind of blocking it, but we got that SpongeBob painting up here. We got the Squidward there. Dude, we're, we're leveling up. We're just, we just need the neon sign. Yeah. Leave us a comment. What color do we get? That's the one thing we're missing. Yep. Well, what color do we get? And what else we do we put on this wall? Because Dave, I told Dave to bring something and he didn't bring anything. <laughs> I brought this. You left it from last time. <laughs> you forgot it here. You left it from last time. <laughs> Dude, wait. I could put my... Uh... <laughs> what your car keys okay cool dude it's like you know what's funny you left that i'm pretty sure you that you left that book for me yeah to read yeah i don't know if you did or not or yeah. you just forgot it no <laughs> i don't trust you maybe i did i don't trust you <laughs> um but but because you told me during that podcast that i can't read it because i'm not a young gentleman you haven't read it that i haven't read it. <laughs> i haven't touched it you're allowed to read it you're allowed no to read but it. now i know i can't now I'm, not it's... A, I'm not a young gentleman i'll just no, don't. <laughs> no, don't. You don't want me to read it? No. Okay. I'll leave it there. When you're a young gentleman, you'll be able to read it. Welcome back, guys. Yeah, well, 160, we're back. 166. Man. Yes. Dude. You thought we were done. You counted us out. You said, you said, oh, they're, they're, <laughs> they're, they're, they're six feet under. There's already you said, a, there's a no- podcast out there that's a conservative right-wing podcast, and the boys are toast because they get 700,000 <laughs> views, and, and, and y'all don't. Guess what? Yeah. We ain't quitting. Yeah, we ain't. We don't yeah. quit. We came first. We we, 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 we leave the gym last. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? We get off the treadmill after you get tired. Ooh. And I'm watching. When I get there and I see you on a treadmill, and I am eyeing you. And Come I'm on, like, man. dude, I see you running, and I'm going to wait till you're done. Dude. And I'm going to do an extra 10 minutes. And, and your boy keeps going viral on TikTok. I don't know. Oh, my <laughs> God. I don't know what to do. I'm just oh saying, you know. Oh, you're I'm not just. Even, it's not even. I don't know how the dude. It's like it's like dude. somehow you're you're 30 years old, but you're so. But for real, everyone on dude. TikTok, I but love you're you just guys. So man. young somehow, dude. Somehow still young, but somehow super you're just old. hip and TikTok famous. Somehow experienced enough to know what hurt feels like, but also like enjoying life even more now. Yeah, you know, a lot to say, a lot to talk about. Mm, oh my! <laughs> wow, I just I feel different, dude. Yeah. So shout out to everyone on TikTok. Thank you for being so kind. <laughs> Uh, and if you're here from TikTok, we love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Welcome, subscribe, and like if you can. We're going on Twitch tonight. We have a Twitch account, You Are Here Podcast Twitch. Yes. Twitch.tv slash You Are Here Playing Podcast. Resident Evil Village. Yes. And shout out to the patrons on Patreon. Patreon. If you want to slash You Are Here Podcast. You know you could do that. Uh, we're looking for sponsors. <laughs> we got Tito's Vodka <laughs> on deck, but we're not going to shout them out yet. Yeah, not yet. Maybe um, a year or two. Dude, big things happen. All right. Dude, and I really want to talk about well, it. I want to talk about last night how it was for me. You text me last night, and I was like, I'll be honest, brushing my teeth, taking a piss, going to bed. Yeah. I was like doing that process. Yeah. It was 10 p.m. It was it was late for me, <laughs> you know? And uh, you te- did you see what happened with Will Smith? And I'm like, what? No. Oof. And I, I didn't even text you back because I was like, what the fuck is this? It must yeah, be crazy. Yeah. I go on Twitter. First thing I see is, you know, damn Will trending. Yeah. I click it and I see, and I'm like, dude, what? He's at the Oscar and, all this, and he walks up to Chris Rock and- Dude. And my whole head spun around, dude. I was like, this can't be real. This has got to be staged. Dude, let's let's get in. Let's get right into it. This is the title of the thing. We got to make this title of this episode. It's got to be the Will Smith episode. It's got to be the Will Smith episode. This is the craziest news. I mean, literally a war is going on and it just like, what war? Like, that's what happened in the news. Everyone <laughs> forgot. Everyone just forgot. All right. So let's, let's go through the... Dude... Let's go through it. Let's watch this, it. Honestly? All right. Let's just watch it. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. Let's watch it. You know who's got the hardest job tonight? Yeah, Chris. Javier Bardem and his wife are both nominated. 
Now, if she loses, he can't win. <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dude, laughing, <laughs> laughing. It's, that, was a, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> he calls him Richard. Oh. oh. oh wow. Dude, that slap is so fast. Now, dude. let's be, let's both, because I've seen a lot of people speculating. It, it's real. It's real. Thank you. It's, it's real. definitely real. Guys, I'll tell you real. why it's real. The reaction from Chris Rock, you could tell right, 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 right away. It's real. He's not s- expecting it. Watch what he says. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> We can go frame by frame. Will's looking Look, at that, his there's, feet. Look, he's no flinch. Yeah, he Boom. got smacked in the face, man. Not like hard, but he got the fingers on the face. Yeah, yeah. No, that's a smack. He got hit. Dude, I've seen some... You ever watch uh, the, the slapping competitions? Oh, yeah. Dude, I've watched a lot. People, when they get knocked out, they just straighten up. Like, that's a slap. Yeah, dude. For sure. No, that's oh, a full slap. Wow. Wow. Dude, how does Chris, Chris Rock Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Dude, he took it so well. Dude, gentlemen. Nick, name out your this is crazy. Mouth. Wow, dude. That's when I was like, oh, this is crazy. It was a I, G.I. Dude, that's when I said. Yeah. I, I literally, my mouth dropped. I said, oh my God, Lena, you got to see this. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't believe what I was watching when this was happening. Yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Angel. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> oh, I can, oh, okay. Right there. That Ooh, I pause, could, he bro. knows he can roast the fuck out of him yeah, right now. And he's, and he's holding it in. He yeah. also just got smacked. The energy's like got to be crazy, buzzing. Yeah, that pause, bro. That, oh, uh, that pause at the end of it oh. was really just. That drives me nuts, dude. Just how can you like, you know, you you, you smack him because he, he's, he's saying something about your wife. Yeah. I understand you want to defend your wife. Yeah. Maybe there's something going on with the alopecia stuff I heard yeah, and she's yeah, lost her hair, yeah. whatever. I understand. Yeah. But let me tell you this. People who are like, yeah, props to Will for backing up his, his wife and, and like being a, being a good husband. And yeah. All. Yeah. You could be a good husband uh-huh. and still, I think, not slap a man in the face. 100%. You could. You and can, not just you, any man. This is a comedian. Yeah. At and, the Oscars show, the performance of the, like, yeah. he's he's not just some guy calling out your wife for being bald. Yeah. It's Chris Rock, the comedian, making a joke about, yes, your wife, who's a, who decided to show up to the Oscars and sit there front row with you, right, on your night. Yep. And this is part of the show, man. He's a man hired as the comedian. That's his job. He's Dude, doing and, his and, job. and before that, they just showed kind of this clip, but he's roasting everyone. You know what he's I mean? He's roasting he's everybody. everybody. He's not you know singling I mean? out just your wife to get and like he didn't and, he, and he, it wasn't even a crazy joke. Yeah, it wasn't even like the most unsettling. It thing. wasn't insane, but you know it's relative to how you feel, I guess. Yeah, and right, I get you know. it. I think something's going on underneath all that because oh, a hundred percent. Because let's be real. Because he's laughing. No, let's be real. This past year for Will, Smith. I kind of been following a little bit of Will Smith because King Richard even that he, good? Did I? I didn't even. See I heard it. it was amazing, but I'm not gonna watch it. Um, but I. I kind of heard more, like, I started following Will Smith a little more yeah, yeah. because he entered the YouTube space. Yeah, and we so know Mikey, saw, Mikey's YouTube, Mikey YouTubes. Yeah, you're Mikey YouTubes. So, I saw that and I was like, okay, okay, I understand. But then that's also when all that uh, stuff with his wife was happening, yeah. where they just decided to have a, you know, a show talking about their marriage affair, affair. and affair. Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah. and he was there and she was literally saying in front of his face... Just all the things, you know what I mean, and you know what he happens? can say he's good. He can say he's fine, but dude, he's a hundred. Per- the whole world was making fun of him. It was a meme forever. It was still a meme since now, and everyone's making it even more of a meme. Yeah. And one thing, if you enter the YouTube space, hundred percent Will Smith's reading comments, all right? And people are criticizing him. Uh-huh. And people are, and, and that's just the game. That's just how it is, that- dude. And that's Just one of like his insecurities yeah. from I seen too in the yeah, videos. Man. Like yeah, his, man. one of his insecurities was like growing up, his mother was was abused and and he wouldn't stop it. Yeah. He was afraid to like intervene and stuff like that. So maybe that's yeah. just, as an adult man, you're that that you're carrying that with you. Yeah. You're trying to 
I don't know. Just you just know what, dude? Stop. I'm gonna I'm gonna be just completely honest. Defend your wife. When I first saw it, I was like, oh shit. <laughs> I'm kind of like, all right, well. Dude, immediately. I was like, okay, all right, well. Immediately. You know, I was like, I was you know off. what? I was off. Yeah. Immediately. <laughs> I don't know I why, off. but at first I was like, it was just so entertaining, I guess. It's it's crazy. He said it. He's like, this is the greatest moment of television history. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which like Which it kinda is. Yeah. The greatest night of television history. It's sick. I it's mean, dope. <laughs> it's not, it's really like sad though. It's really sad. It like is. you, you I, like when I woke up today, I was like, okay, maybe not. because I saw it at like, bro, it's his night. I saw it at night. Yeah, it's his night. He's like, he, he know he knew tonight was his night. He was gonna win the fucking Oscar. He knew it was his night, and he and and oh, you have the speech. Yeah, after. the speech after too. Yeah, because because like, we gotta listen. All right, yeah. I'm gonna with I'm gonna withhold what I think like fully yeah. until we watch this. Yeah. Go ahead. This for sure doesn't help. <laughs> this yeah. Go ahead. This is a beautiful moment, and I'm not... Just slap the guy. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not crying for winning a, an award. It's not, it's not about winning an award for me. Uh-huh. It's about being able to shine light on... Just slapped a man in the face. That's <laughs> a lot of darkness in this, in this room. All of the people, Tim and, and Trevor and Zach... And Shouting out people to feel less alone because you just slapped a guy in front of the world. And Sanaya and Demi and Anji. Also want to get a lot of applause right now. <laughs> New so. and the entire okay. cast and crew of King Richard and Venus. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> just, just, uh, that. This is Serena. This is, this is classy. He doesn't hit us. <laughs> entire William. And I hope he doesn't hit me next. <laughs> His family. <laughs> wow. Um, <laughs> Dude, <laughs> She's literally, Dude, she is fucking like terrified. You, you ruin the night, Will. Entire cast. <laughs> you ruin the night. Of King Richard and Venus oh. and Serena, the, the entire oh. Williams family. Look at her face. Uh, oh. You see her look to the left. The, the eyes the right. Yeah, she's like, uh, the camera's on me. I better clap this up. Yeah. He knows too, man. Yeah, I feel like deep I mean, down no, he knows. imitates life. I look like the crazy father, just like they said. <laughs> I look like crazy father, just like they said about Richard Williams. Um, <laughs> but mm. love will make you do crazy things. Like like kill people? Like slap people, mm. like beat people up. Not an excuse. You still shouldn't be Sorry, rolling buddy. up to the Oscars slapping a comedian in the face. I thought, can I talk about what I think, dude? And yeah. just keep it real for everyone? Yeah. I think it's the most ho thing I've ever seen. And that's me keep keeping it real. My wife's <laughs> name out your fucking mouth. It feels good, right? To be like Rah! in front of everybody and it's my wife. Shut the fuck. Keep her name out of your mouth. Yeah. You're talking to Chris Rock, my guy. You're talking to Chris Rock. You're talking to the comedian who was paid to tell yeah. jokes. You know what you signed up for tonight. You know that. Yeah. I just don't think that's a, like not, a boss move in any kind that of That ain't no. And he's all about, dude, if you've been following his journey, he's all about like, dude, I'm a new man, blah, blah, blah. I'd show you all my flaws, all my uh, vulnerabilities. Well, he made a big I've mistake. Grown and he yes, made a huge mistake. Yes. He made a huge dude, mistake. Dude, and all I'm going to say is that walk up whew, took a minute. All right? Sure we know did. that it's a it's an aisle, all right. You got you got to get up from your seat, go down a couple of rows. This is what I'll say. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah, you're right. It's, it's a, a it's a long walk. walk. It's a long walk to be <laughs> thinking like walk. I'm gonna I'm gonna deliver a slap to Chris yeah. Rock's face right yeah. now in front of the world. I just can't. I don't know how he must have blacked out. I guess. Yeah. Or he had an idea like I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna follow through because I'm a man and I'm gonna defend my wife and all that. I don't know what he was thinking. I know is it it it, it, ha- it has to be a mistake. He's got to know he made a mistake, he, dude. That was a Davy Danger moment. That's a Davy Danger moment. That's a Davey Maybe, Davey yeah. It could. Danger I can. I can moment. understand it. This is now whole move for sure in my mind. Yeah. Do I think he's just like across the board a bad guy because it's happened? No. no. I think no. this guy has all the potential, of course, to have redemption through this shitty moment. Like it's just a moment. We all make mistakes. Yeah. It's a mistake. He was fired up. Like I get it. But I don't think we should be praising my man being like, no, Yo, probably congrats, not. Will, for slapping Chris Rock. He probably deserved not. it. He didn't deserve it. Technically, deserve- that's assault. And and I'm 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 surprised. Well, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised Chris Rock didn't. didn't yeah, no, him. no. But uh, he should have because that that is straight up assault um, in front of the world. Yeah. Now it's an Oscar moment for for everyone. Isn't to see it forever. weird? I, and also with for for Chris Rock, it's Oscar like- ratings through the roof though. 
after that. I mean, they were tanking. Now they're did, the did I even like turn it on? <laughs> I, I Besides that it. moment, I haven't no. seen it in, in probably two years. Isn't it two, cool to like not give a shit now? I used to do it. I used to watch it. All I used time. to love it. I I forget it's even on. Yeah, I really I don't, don't care I don't anymore. Why. Sometimes you know the quality of movies. Like I'm like, yeah, dude. Like how is this other movie not in it? Yeah. How is this actor yeah. not even? It's just a weird thing. I don't know. Yeah. But dude. um, let me see the slap one more time. <laughs> Because I want to talk about the slap specifically, dude. Okay, okay. You know that? Remember that ABC show, The Slap, or whatever it was called? Such a stupid title for a show. Yeah, oh, that was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh oh, Richard. Oh, this is. He has no idea, bro. Don't look, at, look at the slap. Look at the slap. Dude, oh, it's. Wow. He's, all right, pause it. He is walking up. Now, Chris Rock has no idea what's going on. Will has every intention to slap this guy in the face right now. He gets up there looking down. At his feet. Yeah. Okay? The hand is still low. Yeah. He doesn't wind up. Yeah. There's no wind up. Yeah. He brings it here and twists his body and goes, huh. I don't know where he learned that. Yeah. That's some, that's a hoe slap, dude. That's like, that's not like a whap, like trying to hurt somebody. That's like a, <laughs> it's just like a quick, like, I don't want you to see this coming at all. Like, yeah. whoop. Like that. Yeah. He doesn't even look up till the very time he slaps him. Like, it's it's crazy. What's that fucking one famous guy that did that? It's like the fucking... That was a quick... It's from a movie or something. Quick, he must have learned that, dude. Yeah, yeah. That's a quick slap, bro. That slap is That's so kind of, insecure. And like, uh, and like I just, I'm just i going to get him before he gets me I, to walk off. I, I kind of have to disagree. Dude, I think that's kind of a G slap. I don't think that's G at all. I think it is. I think you hit him because you didn't know he just. But, dude, Chris Rock, dude, Chris nowhere? Rock has no idea he's going to hit him, bro. I know. And it's like, yeah. the what's the quickest angle I can hit you in the face yeah. and get out of here? Like, But also, like, I think when he, he knows Chris I think Rock when he got, no, bef- like, when he saw his wife's face, because I'm pretty sure he turned to his wife's face and she was, you know, was probably upset, upset by it. Yeah. And once saw he saw that. that, he's like, oh, this is it. He gets up and he knew he's going to slap <laughs> dude, him. Dude, in a second, he made yeah. that decision. He's like, I'm going to slap yeah, him yeah. For, because she's, a, but he was laughing. Yeah. So he's laughing and yeah. she's upset. Once, once he saw. I don't know, dog. I feel like I'd, I'd be like. I think it's. You got to console your wife, but like you don't got to slap a man in the face. I for think telling it's. a joke and doing his job at the Oscars, yeah. bro. And also another thing is like all those jokes got cleared. Yes. By the whole Oscars team probably a million times. That's the thing. It's like, is he allowed back? I would say. Let's say no. I, I believe in redemption. I say I, I say he's yeah. coming back, but I think it should be a little suspension. Yeah, maybe next time you don't. Yeah, think about what you did a little bit. You take yeah. some time, or maybe you know what'd be cool. Let's have, let's have Will present. <laughs> let's have Will and Chris <laughs> present together. Dude. Yeah, yeah, that's do what I should do. And then Chris should get to slap him back because he didn't he didn't press charges. Yeah, that's fair. I think that's fair, dude. That would blindfold be... him. And just put him up there. Will, Chris, the only wow. way to get redemption is to have Chris slap you. I think that's fair. That is very fair, fair, dude. I agree. That is so fair. That's that's how it should be handled. I like that. It's not it's not damaging. I wonder if like they have a uh, any like previous beef or anything. I doubt it, bro. No, I right? doubt it. How come you don't want me, man? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Big Will. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> dude, Will is... <laughs> Well, there's a way to get over this. You got yeah, a whole team working yeah. with. Him. He's got a whole team working with him. Yeah, you know, I like Will Smith. I just didn't like. What Dude, he was. isn't it crazy how? I remember growing up, he was the guy. He's he is the guy. He's yeah. he's, he's, he's. Well, I think shit. after this, you know, <laughs> the Will Jada thing. Well, yeah, he took a hit there. I guess he kind of went on a decline. Dude, dude, as soon as a this is a little bit of is, a decline. Dude, this is me. If 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 I'm in that conversation with, with Jada. Man. And she's like, hey, yeah, let's I, talk about. I gotta be real, man. This is me. This is me. This is me. All right, kids, get your stuff right. <laughs> All right, yeah, pack up the pack up the car. Make sure the dog's in the car. I'm out. Yeah, we gotta just get our things. And she's like, but, but no, well, just because well, when we we weren't talking, I have to time, talk so to I, you. I have to tell you this. August, I, me and August were we. Yeah, let me. I'm gonna just. Do you have the spare? Okay, let me grab the spare. I'm gonna take the inflatable. You gotta clear out in a week, probably. I'm gonna end up having to talk to the lawyer. Like, that's crazy. Yeah, it's a lot. But I'm not in the relationship. Yeah. I don't know how yeah. it works, dude. This is. I'm Davy starting to learn. I keep to myself, dude. Yes. Dude, and I remember one of the one of the I moments. Ha- I handles it like myself, and that's that song, God. I like that. <laughs> I like that. I like that. That was real. And and your boys. 
Hey, hey no cap. <laughs> I love that. Dude, no cap? Let's be real though. Like, That's how I handle how about mine, let's, let's just not handle that shit on a podcast. You know what I mean? What? That's basically what they did. Yeah, they put it on a podcast. They just had a podcast. Well, why air it out? Like, why does everyone have to I don't know, stuff? man. And that's the thing. I think that's was really, like, was really just... Because Will kind of got just... Everyone's like, cuck Will. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, but, all this shit. But he's taking a beating for, for what? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Why put yourself through that? For more money, fame, uh, views? I don't views, know, man. Views. I think... I do think that he their intentions were to be like... we. If we talk about it like this, Maybe we'll be able people to people who go through this yeah, kind of or, thing, or or like work through it together, and that'll make us both be. Now that we're being recorded, we have to, you know, be true and not be like, you know, take I, have I our own side. I respect vulnerability, dog. Yeah. But I'm never gonna tell you what me and my wife are like fighting about. <sighs> yeah, I don't think we should be on that. You know, that's my business. Let's not do that on a on a show. That's my business. To make and that's that's also me it. like I, but whatever. My my wife's not on the podcast, but like Yeah. I guess it's different. I just I just wouldn't do that. Yeah, I agree, man. Don't I don't think so. be, yeah, talk silly stuff like that. Not good. I'm not going to slap a guy at the Oscars. I don't think. Yeah. But I almost slapped the cameraman. <laughs> that was recording that. Remember that time? Oh. Can we we want to tell that? Quick. Cameraman was I was watching a play Carlotta and Tori were in and there was I a mean, camera. The, hey, dude, you don't even got to put names in it. You know what I mean? My bad. Bleep, bleep. <laughs> why, you try, why do you dox yourself at all times? Why is that bad that I said their names? Because then, like, you could tell the story yeah. without, like, having anyone know. Because now that you said, oh, them, now people are like, like, the guy yeah, might be like, I don't mind. Oh. I don't mind. Oh, okay. If, yeah. if the if cameraman mind, knows, yeah. we, could, we could talk about it. Let's it, talk about it. Uh, cameraman was, the whole crew was there, like, four cameras filming the audience yeah. reaction, try, probably trying to market the play or something. Uh, I get weirded out by it. Yeah, when, when you're, you're around, like, you're ever at like a live like screening or something. Yeah, you know? I can't enjoy the thing. They're I'm, they're recording the stuff. There's a cameraman recording stuff. Right, and then you know, right. sometimes you notice them in front of you. You're like, oh, that's cool. You know, for some reason I was. <laughs> but then, but then for you, it was I like was locked in. Like I couldn't, yeah. I could, I couldn't stop looking because I'm like, he keeps like, yeah, turning yeah, like, it this like way. he turned towards you and put the camera yeah, I'm at like, you. You got your footage. Like let's let's watch the play now. <laughs> and he didn't want to do that. And as I was leaving, I, I noticed he was talking to another cameraman in the back. And as yeah. I'm trying to get out the aisle, I see them whispering, looking at me, and laughing. I'm like, why are they, are they laughing at me? And I'm telling Adam like, as we're filing out, going around, I think they're laughing at me. No, man, no, 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 they're not. Get around to where they're at, and I'm looking at them in the eye, and they're like giggling, but then looking away, like oh. looking at me, then looking away and laughing again, giggling. And I'm like, they're definitely talking about me, and like I'm telling you, Adam, I think they're talking about me. No, David, not. and this pissed me off too. Adam's not believing me, and I'm like, I'm oh. telling you, this is going on. And but Adam was probably right. I don't know if they were talking. Yeah. About me. Get to the end uh, where the door's at. We're past them. I said, you know what? If if you look back, they're they're still looking at you and giggling and shit. Like I'm gonna have a will play the play the sound. Oh, that's that's about them. <laughs> so uh, if if that's about, if they're looking at me, that's about to happen. <laughs> and I turn around, they're looking at me still, laughing, and they look away quick, and they're giggling to each other again. Yeah. And I say, "What's up, homie?" I start screaming at him. What's yeah. up? What's up, homie? What's up? What's up? Yeah. And what they do? No, what's up? You, you. What's up? What's up? And what they do? And Adam's like, "Dude, relax." And he's like, I'm like, "And they didn't do nothing. They just turned around like this and started like pretending to pack stuff away." <laughs> and then, uh, yeah. So. I understand if if my wife was disrespected, I'd be very mad. But yeah. I think you got to have some kind of perspective, man. Like at a show, the world's watching you. Like when you're defending your wife, you don't care who's watching. I understand. I you you forget where you're at. I could see that. But like, look who you're slapping, dude. Like yeah. I'm not, you know. I just slapped the camera. I just said, "What's up?" Yeah, I just want to talk to you. Yeah. Yeah, I like. I think that's better, you know. Yeah. And, maybe, and then after, you or could, if he just said, "Keep my wife's name out," your, I'd be like, "Yeah, that, all good." Like a, a blow up. Yeah, but like all good. You didn't slap the guy in the face. Walk up, slap the guy in the, the face. Slap was a spectacle. It's just, know? it's just too much. That's something that that's like a that's literally like a like an anomaly in the Matrix. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah. I just I don't respect it. I don't respect, but I understand mistake made. We're all human. Yeah. I hope uh, I hope you know no one rips him too hard on this stuff. He gets over it quick, and we're in a new news cycle in like a week. We yeah. all forget. Um, but there'll be memes forever. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> I already saw one that I loved. It was oh, no. One of the Chris Rock stand-up bits where he's like, <laughs> slap me in front of my friend. Oh. My friend. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he's like freaking out. Pulling from the past yeah. already. Dude, they're so yeah. good at memes. Whoever makes them. It's... Dude, but now imagine you're Will Smith famous. Yeah. And people are pulling uh, shit, right? You've been on camera for 25 And it's 25 millions years. of people. Oh. It's the joke of the week or the month yeah, or the year. Yeah. Dude. Might be the year, this one. Yeah. I mean, the entanglement thing was, I never understood it. I was always like, uh, but I heard it yeah. literally everywhere. When, when it were, happened, entanglement, entanglement. I'm like, dude, who, what does that mean? I can't make it. Like, it doesn't, it's not funny to me with the word <laughs> entanglement. I'm like, this isn't funny. Like, uh, People are like going in, dude. I don't get like, I, I don't know if you, you do that like with the new meme, the new joke, the new trend that's happening. Yeah. Do you like, like hop on that trend? Like I, no. I, I never like, no. I like see it happen. I'm like, I don't get it. No, it's got to be sent to me or something. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, this is funny. Or it's not funny. Yeah. Adam sent me one where it's, it's a, it's a dude. It's a dude. Uh. But it was one that like everyone was doing. No, I don't think so. This that's was... the that's the that's the thing I'm saying. It's oh, like, it's like the one a... that's like everyone's joking. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm like, what is that? You know? Yeah, dude. I, I'm not usually on that wave. I'm usually late to it. I remember we were talking about that TikTok thing. Is that not the funniest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> dude, that's dude. True. They can't I love see that. it. I mean, it's you know when you write emails <laughs> and you're having like a dude. a passive aggressive. You're on your moment. Time. I can't see it. I can post it up if you send it to me. As per my last email. So yeah. Each each punch. Each word is a punch. As <laughs> per my last email is uh, the, the meme. And it's, I think that's the funniest thing. Emails ever. suck, dude. Dude. But like the feeling when no one responds to your email yeah. is like, you know, <laughs> I get it. I get it. Like trying to like, like, did yeah. you read it? Did you see? Because la- I sent it to you. Like that's the funniest shit. Yeah. That's like creativity. And I enjoy that kind of thing. Yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. The the, the meme stuff, it gets boring. Like, I was thinking, the trend yes, stuff, yes. You know? I was thinking about it in the car, dude. I was like, what if like as much as ever, like how this is on the news yeah. or like in the social media sphere uh-huh, so much, uh-huh, uh-huh. what if like instead of all this like dumb shit that doesn't matter, yeah. it was like, like some, like some, I don't know, some like science thing that someone that, learns and it's like a cool thing. That's and everyone's like, yo, this is sick. Did you hear about this? That should be and that's the top. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, trending. What if that was it? It should be. It should, dude. But it's all just bullshit. Yeah, yeah. it's all just bullshit now. I know. We could be like learning. It could be like cool cool stuff. stuff. Remember you were telling me about the the Andrew Schultz thing? What thing? My brother sent you the clip. Oh, TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. Well, I wanted to say like my TikTok, like the algorithm, how it's worked out is like it's that kind of stuff. It's like history. It's uh, yeah, like. Gra- a lot of gratitude videos, a lot of like relationships, like not, you know, relationships, but like, uh, like meaningful, heartfelt, like moments captured on camera and stuff like that. Yeah. I'm always crying watching or I'm learning yeah, some cool yeah, yeah. shit about the past or like an engineering thing. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, this is awesome. So I like TikTok. I didn't realize it, but my TikTok. Yeah, yours has a wholesome Because you can, side. You can hold shit and say not interested and, yes, and that kind of stuff yes. goes away. Like if a video comes up. Do you like things and comment? Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I I never like or comment or anything. I don't really look at TikTok to be honest. But when I do open it, it's not good. <laughs> it's a lot of. It's just you know. There's some dark baby light stuff beams and there's dark depth. No, but that orange Andrew in orange Schultz Andrew Schultz. <laughs> I got CTE already. <laughs> your boy's about to even spar yet. <laughs> um, uh, Andrew Schultz thing that your brother sent me. Shout out Seabass was um, he was saying that since. Uh, I don't know if this is true or not, but this was the, the thing. He was kind of just, I, it was a little bit of a conspiracy. Yeah, conspiracy. A little tinfoil hat Yeah. Yeah. Uh, TikTok, since it was made by China, 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 the way their algorithms yeah, work. It's owned by China. Owned by China. In China, for people who use TikTok in China, like the younger generation, their videos that their algorithms like send to them are mostly like engineering videos or like ways of doing thing videos or yeah. making your community better videos or, you know, learning craft videos. And our videos, like other countries' videos, the algorithms wouldn't. You, he said, "Wouldn't you want them to be, you know, what what like what blows up on TikTok? Like those stupid dance videos from those young kids and yeah. stuff like that, silly stuff, and just girls twerking and stuff." He goes, "Wouldn't you want to push that in another country to slow down their growth of their yeah. their their you know generation? Yeah, and have ours speed up with this kind of stuff." Mm-hmm. And I was like. That's kind of crazy to think. I about. feel like that's something you gotta test. Cause I don't know, dude. Because <laughs> to be real, it could be that. 
Uh-huh. But I don't think it's the reason for them being like, I mean, maybe it is the reason. Um, but in China, they just, they kind of just banned all things not like that. Other than like learning and all that stuff, they, 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 YouTube's banned. They actively like game are always literally pushing. video games banned. What? I'm not even joking, dude. A wait, lot of shit's China? just banned. Yes. Wait, video games? I'm not even joking to you. Really? A lot of things are banned in China. Oh, YouTube, like everything. We they have no push. They push everything you want, bro. We don't have one they YouTube pu- subscriber from China. I, get that VPN, homies. Hopefully, one day we get a VPN sponsorship. Um, but uh. There's like ways to work around it, yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. Kids are smart over there. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. But there's ways to work That's around smart. it. Yeah. But uh, I'm telling you, a lot of things, it's not like here. Yeah. It's yeah. not, dude. A lot. The government takes way more control. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's kind of more the government's kind of pushing, you know, what you can really right. like take in yeah. socially and, you know. Yeah. So and, and, and in America, you're just free to, you know, look at whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. So, yeah. It's kind of it. Yeah, boredom's like a natural thing here. Like, even if, like, it's not like you're being denied the option to look at the cool shit. No, you can always go to the cool You know what I mean? freedom. You get the freedom to choose what you want. Are you really being pushed? I guess you are. This is, I guess you are being pushed, you know what I mean? The, like, bullshit. Yeah, but you you just, you just hold hold down, put not interested, and then it goes away. That's I know the, that that that's kind of why I'm that that Andrew Schultz take. I'm like, you know, you could. I said, I think it's a little silly too. I'm like, personally, you could just, you know, not pay attention to the bullshit. Yeah, man. You, you just, know, or you you can make a choice. Get rid, get it out, dude. Yeah. Your boys. Yo, yesterday. Hey, shout out to the Garden State Film Festival. Your boys came through. Big shout out. Hey, they really did a good job on that festival. I like yeah, them a lot. Um, shout out to the homegirl Victoria Mead and yes. and her hubby. John, uh, they had a good film in there we got to see. And then we got to see our thing uh, in our block, man. Dude. Powerhouse City. <sighs> I'm so, dude, I was blown away yeah. by a couple of those films. Um, 100% the best short films I've seen. Shout out. My life. Anton Yosef. I, yes. got, I got in touch with him. Oh, you did? Yeah, he's going to. He he's, tell he, me anything. He's thinking, well, I'm, I saw you yesterday. Now I'm seeing you today. True, true, true. Uh, he, uh, he, think, he, he might be able to come on the pod. We're trying to figure it out. So we might get Dude. that guest. I, I I would love to talk. You got to reach out to that girl too. Yeah, she she was. I awesome, think we man. have to. She we was have awesome. To, the mother's like famous. Oh, really? Yeah, she's already doing it. Oh, dang. The the the, da- the daughter Amazing. character is like on the road. What is it called fame. again? I, I can't. Um, Why did I forget? Break any spell? Yes, break any spell. Break any Anton Yosef, dude. It was Shout amazing, out. man. If that's playing in your city, go see it because that that shirt was crazy. Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, well, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. But shout out to the Garden State Film Festivals. That was I had a good time. We yeah. had a good time. Um, yeah, dude. Just, just I don't know. It was just like a lot. Like the room was really enjoyable. Yeah, man. There was a lot of love. A lot the of Q and A's and stuff. A lot of love, man. I felt a lot of connection. A lot. And, of, honestly, and some of the most love you ever feel is at a film festival. Yeah, you get sometimes you, know I mean? you get like real genuine love. Yeah, and it feels really nice. And um, yeah, that was awesome, man. That was awesome. I felt I felt like there, there's still hope. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. There's good. That's why I always go to film festivals for that. There's good films and stories out there, even short films. Like sometimes you go to a festival, and it's like ah, uh, you know, maybe it's just the block I'm in or something. But yeah. I, I just, you know, I don't know. We're lacking in some areas. Yes. Or, or not a lot of effort was put into these things. Yeah, I you know, agree. It's, I agree. It's, it's strange. Sometimes but. selections are kind of questionable. Yes, questionable, questionable. Which I understand. Yeah, yeah. You know, I want to talk about this too, mm-hmm. uh, John. Yesterday was saying, uh, he was talking about our film, and he was like, he's like, oh, you know, I said, oh, are you, you know, going to the places with your film? I said, this is kind of the end of our run. He goes, uh, oh, really? Well, you got in so many places, it looks like. I go, bro, you know, like it looks like you get into a lot of places or festivals or whatever. Um, but like the ones you don't get into, Mm-hmm. It's like triple the amount. Yeah, like you submit for. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's not even yeah. close to comparison. So it looks like it's all success, but it's like you don't post failure. Yeah. Like imagine I just and I, maybe I should like just start posting like yeah. didn't get in, didn't get in, didn't get in. So people are, you know don't feel like oh this is crazy and, and start comparing and then it's like yeah. you know not saying people do that. I don't think anyone, I have done that. Before. I don't think anyone's ever shown what they not they didn't get into. <laughs> I think <laughs> it's like, just I, a good. I, I, I bought, why I not, man? In. Why not? To do I think that? it'd be pretty cool to start doing that kind of stuff. Why not? Um, 
Yeah, bro. But it made me think like the comparison stuff, not comparing myself to him, but like I've, I've done it before where I see someone else get into somewhere when I was younger and I'd be like, dude, what the fuck? How come we can't get in there? Yeah. How come our thing didn't go that far? How do you, you know? And it's just a recipe for disaster, dude, yeah. just to compare yourself to other people. It's just a, you can't be someone else. You're always, this is what you're given and what you have. Like yeah. you can't compare the successes and failures of other people to your successes and failures. And also, like, people love to give advice, mm. which I think is great. But, all, like, you have to mitigate the amount of advice you take in because you're an individual. Your art, if you do it in a certain way, is an individual piece of art that can't go the same way another piece of art went. Yeah. It will be, be received different. It won't be seen the same, heard the same. You won't be... You're not. You can't carbon copy yourself and your 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 art like another person. So I just I, I get I get kind of confused when people are like, ah, uh, no, you can't do it like that, Dave. Like it's just not gonna work. You can't can't distribute it that way because now nah, you can't make a film in Texas, man. It makes no, you know, do it here, do it. I hear you. You you have you have experience and all this stuff, but I'm just gonna do it this way and try it, mm-hmm. like. <laughs> Yeah. I'm, I'm my own person. Like I gotta, I gotta decide these things and and move on them. You know, with the people I work with, like, and the way I make my art in my individual own way, because there's a path that hasn't been traveled yet. Mm-hmm. And there's, of course, like you could, you know, not make it through that path, or you could, you could not make it to the end of that path. And the path that's open already has been walked through millions of times. You know, people are continuing to walk through it. Like, mm-hmm. you know, it's done this way, so do it that way. Do it the same way. That's the way to the money. That's the way to the yeah. fame. That's the way to the distribution. That's mm-hmm. the way to you know people knowing who you are. And it's like the, the I'm ranting, but like the quality of story is like number one. And then the 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 amount of value I put in like fame and money is under the table for me. Mm-hmm. I don't care anymore about that stuff. Yeah, I thank, agree, man. Thank God. I agree. I feel like I've really felt that change with us in a long... Yeah. In these with past the podcast couple, too, right? Yeah. It's like... These past couple... It, in this like probably year. I don't yeah. think it's even been that long. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But... Uh, well, because it's... It, we're alive. Like we're, we're yeah, still... We, we yeah. have food in our belly and we have money in our pocket and we have yeah. heat in our house and we like... We have wheels to roll around on and do yeah, what we have yeah. to do to to live every day and, and we're appreciative of that stuff yeah so like the amount of subscribers likes whatever it's it's cherry on top stuff it's not yeah. like the reason you do it yep for me and i, I see it in you yeah 100 percent. it's like you want people to see your thing of course but like if mm. if one does then awesome yeah you know one person sees listens to your music like it really enjoys it like then you did it for the one person and like cool or you did it for yourself mm-hmm. you know i don't need I want to make the thing. I hope a lot of people see it. But like the value of will I be bumping into Will at the Oscars one day? Hit the sound. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I don't think so. You know, like that ain't the road, you know? Yeah. That would have been me already up there. That's not that's not the road. Yeah. This is the road. Yeah. yeah. This is the That's path. definitely a Davey Danger moment. You know what? Now that I think about it. I said that right will, away. That will I'm that not, moment. I'm not gonna dox myself, but I said this. And I'm saying it on the podcast. You quote me. And I love Will Smith. But if he slapped me in front of the world like that, I'm putting him down. Uh, for real. And Chris Rock, and I'm not a gentleman like 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 Chris Rock, I have so much respect for for just just like yeah. whoa, I just got slapped. Yeah. Like Will Smith just slapped the shit out of me. I don't know how he handled it like that, dude. Like they gotta pay him a little more for that, right? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I'll tell you what, he handled it like a gentleman. Definitely. Because I would have blacked out on him. I would have dropped him in front of the world. Yeah. Oh. You know, and... It would have been a fight. And like, it's I mean, like, maybe I wouldn't drop him, but it'd be a fight. And I... I don't know, man. You, you, the one other thing you could say is like, as Will Smith, as like an adult and as an entertainer. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like, you, you got to be at the point where a joke's a joke. Yeah. You know what comedy is. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's yeah. always that like what's too far with right. comedy right, right, right. it's always been like an argument and i don't think you should really draw lines for stuff unless it's funny 
You know? <laughs> yeah, if it's like, like a joke, it, man. It was funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was I don't think it was it wasn't even a good it wasn't even that good of a joke. Yeah. It was like it was like a he like kinda a had he kinda joke. had a weird moment too. Like uh what? after he said it. Yeah. I think he saw He said, Oh no, no, no. Like it's yeah. it wasn't even that bad. Like yeah. he was trying to like um suppress like the the animosity. Yeah. He was trying to like Yeah uh, you know what? Keep it down. I think that's what I felt like the first time I saw it, like last night. Uh huh. Like when I saw it, and I saw Chris Rock kind of be like, uh, it kind of felt like he was a li- like bombing a little bit. I don't, yeah, it wasn't that funny in a little it way. It was like a, you know a what I mean? stupid joke. Like, it was a silly joke. It was a joke you tell it's, like at the Oscars. Yeah, it's like it's Oscars comedy. You know what yeah, I mean? Bro. Like you can't be Chris Rock. Didn't Ricky Gervais like light up the Oscars one day? Was yeah. it the Oscars or the Emmys? He, uh, like, one of those. He, fu- he torched care. everybody. Yeah. And the whole show. Him. No one and the whole show. Him. And everyone loved it. Exactly. Why did no one slap no, Not yeah. everyone loved it. Yeah. Some people were like, oh, man, oh, this is... Yeah. You're allowed to have an opinion about the jokes. You don't have to be smiling. As an laughing. entertainer, bad against Will, dude. You know what comedy is. You Come know, on, dog. You've been there. You Come know what on, I mean? Bro. You know that. Uh, why are you trying to put down... Why is Adam calling you know, your peers and the shit? You know what I mean? But also as an adult, handle it like an adult. You know what I mean? That's should, I, should I call him back? On the pod? <sighs> yeah. Let's ask his opinion. You know what I mean? We're 40 minutes in. Let's ask his opinion about Will. Oof. <laughs> I don't know. If, let's see. I don't know if he's going to give it on the pod. No? Hey, you're on the podcast, the homie. Oh. All right, hold up. Give me, give, give me. Why do you, why do you always call when we're doing the podcast? Uh-oh, he's quiet. Hostage. Oh, yeah. Hello? Wow. Are you okay? Beep the horn if you're okay. Oh, I was going to honk. Yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> you got scared, dude. You I'm got sorry. scared? I was joking. Or did the phone cut out? We have exciting news. Katie, wait a minute. Wait, you're on the podcast, though. <laughs> yeah, we're on the podcast. Well, we can announce it on the podcast. Oh. Oh, snap. Are you sure? This is um, personal information, babe. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh, oh my god you got you got oh I, wait we could cut this out it can't be that it's not like that okay okay, okay. <laughs> i think i know what it is but i'm not gonna say it on the podcast i'm dropping the album no. <laughs> <laughs> i think i know what it is and i'm excited to talk more about it but mikey wanted to know if you wanted to mikey wanted to know if you wanted to give your take on the uh on the will smith incident Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> do you want to do that on the podcast? You don't have to. <laughs> Katie goes, no, no, no. Okay. That's the answer. We got you. We, we hear you loud and clear. I already gave my opinion. Me and Mike, you're on the same page. Yeah. Nobody needs to hear my opinion. No one needs to hear it. Hey, I love you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you plead the fifth? I'll be listening. Y'all plead the fifth? Do you all plead the fifth on Will? Oh, man, I don't want to curse on the... Big Will. <laughs> I don't want to curse, dude. All right, I got you. That's okay. That's okay. Dude, dude I, I mean, I could go off. No, 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 no. no. Don't go off. No. no. <laughs> Your wife's right there. No. No. It's all good. Hey. <laughs> I'm praying for all these people involved. <laughs> oh, Prayers, Prayers up. Lord, oh. That's my diplomatic answer. There, I like that. I you're like you're that. media trained That's already. Good. I like that. Your boy got canceled on this one for sure. Didn't mean to interrupt y'all. Y'all do your thing. No, you're good. You're good. I love you guys. Love you guys. Love you. Yo, what about Jada though? Keep <laughs> my wife's name oh. out your fucking mouth. He drops the f bomb yeah. so hard. That's that's real intention. I would never think he's an aggressive that's a guy either. Point of view. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, he he think. slapped somebody before. Hasn't he slapped a guy who's no, that was Tom Cruise. Yeah. He slapped a reporter before who tried to kiss him or something, or kissed him on the cheek. He's, he def, right? Am I crazy? Look that up. I don't know. I might be crazy, but I think he did. But he had every right. He got kissed on the cheek. You know, and, and he doesn't know who it is. Guy could have had leprosy. Oh. Look at, look at, look at. The guy wouldn't stop kissing him. Oh. Backhanded him. Watch, he backhanded him. Wait, wait, hold up. Let me show the people this. I'm telling you. This, this I don't is really want to hear it, but. Yeah, we don't got to hear it. The stupid Just website, the worst dude, right? Look at, look at. Whoa, whoa, so, whoa. so the guy won't, won't get off his neck. Kiss, 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 kiss. Ew. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm European. I'm European. What? He backhands him. You see that? 
He hit him with a backhand, a cheap little. Oh wow! Which I respect. You you, sh- you invaded the man's space. That's the result. You shouldn't <laughs> you shouldn't be allowed to do that. All right, but he might be an aggressive guy. <laughs> He's like, he's like, a, that was you know, pretty gross. He's a man. He, he's, I mean, also that kid. What are you doing? He's like, he's, like, he's looking he's like, for something. He's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's looking for, he's looking for a reaction, bro. You could tell he's looking for the reaction. He wants them to do that. He wants to get slapped. Damn. Because now this lives on forever. Look how many views. Twelve million. Yeah. Twelve million views. Yeah. 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 yeah they killed it. So he slapped before. He will slap again. <sighs> you know what I want to ask you? I want to ask. Punched him. What do you want to ask? What do you feel about? I'll meet you there, Ron ending. Ooh. How do you feel? That's a great question. I don't think I've had time to like stop and think about it. Take the moment now. Yeah, I'm thinking, dude. You know what, man? It's like... Another thing you, you know, started as an idea. Yeah. You and Carl worked it out, Mm -hmm. you know. And then, you know, you got people together, made it into something. Mm. How many fest? I don't know, like, how many festivals did we go to? Eight? No, more, I think, man. More? Then, you know what I mean? And now now it's like, all right, the chapter's kind of, I mean, we get get a little distributed. We have a deal let's in get place. Some, let's get some more. We have a deal in place. Let's get some more. It's not the deals we had last time, which, I, which made me think a lot about what I was telling you about before, like... Um, I'll answer this question, but I just it's want to It's time to sell out. No. <laughs> but like, like with Rose Garden, there was like bigger deals. And yeah. these time, this time we didn't get those bigger deals. Like, Why do you think? I don't know. I don't know. Different time, different type of story, different way of making it. Um, I'll meet you there is pretty, uh, it's, pr- it's, it's like a conversation and it's like a real sad one. <laughs> it's yeah. like a real. Uh, True real tough thing to 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 sit and go through sometimes i think mm. and i realized that this time watching it it's like it's not it's not something where you, you're like hey hon like check this out it's a cool short film out yeah it's yeah. like um i don't know if it's indulgent but it's definitely uh it's it's an experience i wanted to have and like we did it together um the thing the thing i feel now i guess about it the most like coming to an end the run uh-huh. it, it's just like such an exciting time to be like a young dude with pick like like being able to bring people that you see so much potential in and you want to really create this really personal thing that like your heart like is 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 like trying to suss out and then you come together and you see all this potential, like people like grow into their roles and, you know, create friendships and make a little like moment in time, like where you're making the thing. And then like the excitement of all that and the buzz and the, the connection and like you go, you go through that and then you make it, you edit it and like the excitement about seeing it for the first time. Like I remember seeing it for the first time, I was like. Mm. this is crazy <laughs> wow this is crazy um because it's better than my head like it's better than i saw it when i was writing it like it's mm. it's way better um and like i was able to be proud of it so i feel i feel grateful like extremely grateful i feel proud of everyone um it feels like it's not mine anymore. It feels like it's everyone's like, like it's, that's the weird part. It's like you, you, you get real personal. You try to make a thing to the best of your ability with people you love. And that's always how I've done things. And like good, bad, otherwise, like that's the way I want to continue doing things. And then you make it and then you have to allow other people to see it because you want to move people. You want them to feel hopefully like, there I start asking questions they haven't asked themselves in a long time. And then, you know, like we're watching it and I'm watching someone like break down in front of us and start crying and like grabbing her husband. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, look at this, man. Like yeah. someone I wouldn't have met before. And and I don't know what those two are going through, you know, or the people over there or the people down there. But like I can see them being moved by this thing that we've created from an idea that was in my head because 
I used to like have panic attacks about dying. And I and, and I don't know how to handle when when I'm losing someone I love. So just an idea. Fast forward two, three years, like we're sitting behind people who are having these moving experiences in front of us. And it's like for the last time we're gonna probably see it happen in person. And it's sad. Like I'm I I'm ex- I was so grateful to be traveling and like seeing all these cool cities and meeting all these really cool people, having these beautiful conversations, seeing people moved by it is really fulfilling because that's, that's, that's like the exchange. That's the, I made a personal gift for you. And then, you know, just hoping that people feel this much different by the end of it, you know? So I'm sad. I'm grateful. I am honored. I'm nostalgic, you know? Like, I'm going to miss it. I miss it already. Like, I remember driving back to um, the city to drop off uh, Doc's Aaron and Carlotta. We were, like, playing music in the car. And we were just, like, on a high, you know. We just did this. Can you believe it? You know? And it's like, uh, or just, like, the in-between the scenes. I can remember specific moments. And they're memories, like, I have forever. I'll always have these memories. And I could watch the film and, you know, go back and um, relive it a bit. But uh, it's a weird thing. It's a weird thing putting out art and like or putting out something you made that's real personal and you move on from it. So I know I'm going through this like moving on process. Like, you know, like there's going to be another thing maybe. If, if it's God's will, like there'll be another thing. But if not, like then the things I made, you know, you know, I don't know. Like, you, I don't know. That's That's what I leave behind. Mm. I don't know, man. So I'm, I'm thinking about a lot. I guess I'm feeling yeah, a lot. Man. Feeling a lot of different feelings. Yeah. Feeling a lot of different yeah, feelings. Yeah. Feeling conflicted. Feeling um, I don't want to let people down. I feel that. You know. Um, I hope I don't lose those relationships. But life, you know, moves in different ways. Um, I know some I won't. I know some I might not see those people again. So that time is like. It's preserved, man. It's cool. It's like preserved. And yeah, just a memory, I guess. Just like anything in life. It's like a, it's going to school for a year overseas or something. Like it's like, you know, it's a period in time. You meet a bunch of people. You do some really cool stuff together. And you have to come back home. Mm-hmm. You know? And films are weird like that. It's like you create a th- like a little unit. And a short is is even weirder because it's like it's rare like it happens on a short. But I feel like that one like like speci- like so much so was like I've got your back and I want to also like know everything about you. Like everyone on set, everyone to the person was like kind, respectful, open, friendly. Like want to go above and beyond. Just se- it just seemed that way all the time. Every everywhere I looked, even if I wasn't a part of yeah. the situation, I'm like looking. I'm seeing you interact with like Nick. It's super intimate. Yeah, and I was like, know? dude, I feel this. I feel supported by the crew when I'm on, when I'm when I'm working. Like, I feel like everyone's got my back. I've got everyone's back. Yeah. You've got each other's back. Like, dude, it was awesome. It was awesome. So I miss it. I guess I feel like I miss it more than anything. I miss yeah. it. Yeah, I'm I'm grateful for all those things. Like truly, I look at my life and I'm like, wow, dude, you didn't know what you wanted to do. Like if I if I were to just cease to live tomorrow. Like I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I was kind of lost for a long time. Mm-hmm. And was given such a gift to be to be shown it by chance, by what I believe like fate, like it was it was written. But the before times, like I didn't know anything. I felt insecure, scared, lonely. And now like fast forward because I found the thing I wanted to do and it became a purposeful thing that I fell into, that I tried when I was really scared. I tried and I loved, I found out I grew to love it and my intentions were wrong about it. You know, I loved it and I wanted it because I wanted more love and attention. And then 
you work through all, you know the years in the city and trying to learn how to do it correctly to get even more love and attention and also help people through it but like get mine too and now you know going through that process and realizing that that's empty fast forward to we're in asbury park and like seeing people move by the thing and the conversations i had on the road you know this this run and you know the very small amount of buzz you know this time around like i'm cool with that Mm. you know it really is about the the time you get to share in the moment Cut me off if I'm talking too much. No, no. Keep going. For me, it's about like the time, the time you get to spend in the moment, dude. Like the time, the amount of time you get to spend those living seconds with the people you're with creating or watching or listening or playing, like whatever you're doing, that's what it's about. It's not about the product. It's not about how much you get, where you get in, where it goes next connecting to someone to, to, to work with them later because you hope to get something out of it. All that stuff is, is it's like throwing money down a well and it's like hoping it comes back to you. Like there's, there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no, for me, there's no gain there. Like the gain is I get to enjoy this trip in this moment, working on this specific thing on this day, in this hour with this person and just soak it up. Soak all of it up. Enjoy every second because you do come to the point where it's like it's over. Mm-hmm. But I'm I'm not I'm not sad because I missed out. Yeah. I I I lived every second of that. I didn't miss out a second of that. And I'm so grateful because the bonds we have from that, like I I'll never forget. I'll never forget. They'll always be meaningful to me even if I don't see those people again or I see a few of them. Like I feel bonded for life. I feel nothing but love and gratitude and i know i didn't miss out because i lived every second of those moments and it was just a testament to presence man like you know it's not about the buzz man it's not about what comes it's not about what the world gives you back the world's already gifting you with all this stuff you know and it took like a leap of faith to try to learn these things and try these things and get told no and get told you can't do it and fumble you know stutter look stupid Look like a fool, feel like an idiot, you know, get a ton of attention, have it all go away. But like the cool thing now is, dude, like on the other side of feeling all this attention and love, I've I've said this before and I'll continue to say it. I'm realizing that life is so cool because people tell you things like, like advice, right? Like you're going to, you got to enjoy being in school while you're in it, man. You're looking at the the forty year old guy, and he's telling you yeah. this, and you're like, "Dude, get out of here! You don't know. Like, I know what I'm talking about. I want to get out of the school. I want to go do what I want to do." He's like, "Trust me, you're gonna you're gonna miss these days." It's like you have to live life to understand those things, really, and it's it's a silly thing, but yeah. it's true. i the more I realize, like, the more life experience I gather, it's so cool because I grow from losing, I grow from making mistakes, I grow from not getting you know the things I thought I wanted. I grew up from feeling a lot of pain, turn backs, cold shoulders, you know, long nights, like fear of tomorrow. That's where I grow. Mm. So I know I'm stronger than I was at when we made the thing. And I know I'm, I'm more grateful for life than I was when I made the thing, but I still was grateful for life and was able to soak up those seconds, man. Like yeah. more so than I was when I was 20. Yeah. Or 25. Damn, man. that's a rant. That's super real, though. That's yeah. my that's my line of content. I can't truth, stop bro. it when it's coming, man. But like you hey, ask man. me how I feel, that's how I feel. Hey, man, I asked the question. Yeah, how do you feel, this man? This is the You Are Here podcast. Yeah, and that's your answer, right? Yeah, that's my answer. How do you feel? I feel I'm just thankful that you allowed me <laughs> or asked me to be on the crew. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm glad I could you know be of service to something that you wanted to create. Um, I don't know, man. I just ditto what you said. Like all the, it was the first time I felt like a, you know, a set and a crew and just being with, just being with a group of people 
doesn't even have to be like the work side of it uh -huh. but just like everyone being there to i don't know i guess yeah all soak up this little point in life mm -hmm. you know we're all on the same page in the same boat it almost felt like it was too good to be true mm -hmm. you know but it was it was just good mm -hmm. everything was just felt great yeah. you know and i just had a great time um i don't know man i'm just thankful for it yeah you know i'm gonna remember it for the rest of my life you know mm -hmm. and i can't look it made me really like look for like i can't wait for the future of like what other things can we do mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. and what other things am i gonna experience in life it added to you know what i mean it's like a step a step dude well, th thank you, and I will, I'll always want to work with you, bro. I th that's, yeah. that's that's a, that's you, know, you too. Man. There's no times I don't. You too. Man. The thing, like, um, one thing I I want to ask one thing I, you learned about it, and one thing I learned about it. Mm -hmm. The thing that's sticking out to me now. The one thing I learned was like the greatest feeling I felt was when you see potential in people and you put them in a position and and you see them like like unfold. Mm. You know what I mean? When you're like, dude, look at this. They're fucking doing it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. look at this. I'm watching this happen. Again, this was like a, just an idea. And I said, please, like, just trust me. Just try. Just try. Even though if we might fail, we might not. It might not do nothing, whatever. Just try. Yeah. You know? And I promise you I'll be, like, there with you the whole time. And, like, just seeing people try. Just, just give it a shot yeah. and, and make mistakes, but like be beautiful, like in their work, in their, you know, in the connection, in the time spent together, like being vulnerable with each other like that. Like that's the coolest thing, mm. you know, because you, you got to collaborate to do that kind of, when you do work, that's the best part of it for me. And like you say like, please, they say yes. And then fast forward and you're watching them like, you're so powerful. You're mm -hmm. so awesome. You guys are like incredible human beings, truly. And I mean that when I say it, like you guys can do whatever you want to do. This isn't my thing. This is all of your thing. Mm -hmm. I'm a part of your thing. You know, we each are. And... That's what I learned, man. Like the coolest thing about human beings is like, give them a chance and watch. Like when you when you see someone, you believe in them. You you could see like their heart. You could see they can do a thing, and you put them in a position. You know, watch what they can do. Watch yeah. what they can do, man. And it reminds you like, you can't do this life alone. Like help people do their thing. Yeah, that's way more rewarding than just doing your thing. Mm -hmm. You know, that's way more rewarding. You know. Um, so that's what I learned. I think similarly, I think it's just like, um, it made me realize again, I think it just made me realize again, the the potential in people, mm. like the endless possibilities. I don't like, I'm trying to think of the right word to, to use of like, in that whole time we were, you know, those three days, like there was, it's, I'm not going to say there's, it's not conflict. It's, there was, cause you know, there's a problem comes up and we got to figure it out. You yeah. Know? Yeah. Um, I feel like it's just, I've worked in the other things that I have worked on. I always felt like there was some animosity or some problem that's outside of what we're doing, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and I've never experienced that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I felt like just, it's possible for, you know, everyone to just be present and it, for not to be like about something else. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 I don't know. Yeah, I understand. You know, it's it's a possible thing. You can create, a yeah, place like that. yeah. You can yeah. if you bring people in that are game like that. You can, yeah. uh, you know, egos to the side, everyone together. And do you believe in this thing or not? That's yeah. what it comes down to. Like, do you have a stake? And do you is there is there a purpose for you in this? Do you find mm -hmm. yourself being purposeful, pur purposefully like active on this thing or no? Yeah, is there? Are you invested? Or are you not? And if not, it's cool. Mm -hmm. That's how you work with people. Yeah. Because people, some people might be great talents. <clears throat> some people might be, you know, just incredible at what they do. But 
if you're tr- if you're signing on to do a specific thing like like for acting i'm not i don't sign on for nothing anymore i don't i'm not when i read it i'm like <sighs> yeah and uh, it's like it relates to my life in some kind of way and I, I need to do it it's almost like impossible now to like just fake it you know yeah i think for us i don't want to whether just, that's de- like a detriment to it's gonna career, be career it's gonna be a detriment you know it will be a detriment yeah at first yeah this is my belief yeah i think so too not being career first may be a detriment. Yeah. And I'm definitely be. not career first right now. Yeah. I'm definitely like present and quality of life first. Some people are just career first. There's some people out Which there, is some people that are not. all good, homie. Yeah, man. Get what yeah. you want. This is your life. Do what you want with it. Yeah. I'm doing what I want with mine. You're doing what you want with yours. I'm d- m- m- My quality of life has gone up mm. since my hustle grind every day <laughs> till I get what I want I'm at the Oscars has gone down. Yeah. <laughs> I, I agree, see a man. direct correlation there because I can't do that in a day. I wasn't going down that road. Mm-hmm. The um, the way I felt doing it that way was fleetingly good. The attention I got there was bottomless. Mm-hmm. You know, not a fulfilling feeling. Fulfilling for a moment on top of the world buzz like a drug. Yeah, and then. I'm I'm not shit unless I got a part. That's the yep. that's the side no one saw on Instagram. You know what I mean? Yes. So, I'm I'm dude. I've never been more happy. And you know you know what I'm going through, what I've gone through in these like end of last year, beginning of this year, even more into last year. You know more than anybody. I swear to you, I'm happier with my quality of life right now. I did my taxes last night. Mm. You should have seen me, dude. You should have <laughs> seen me because I'm like, I'm, a, I'm. Look what you can. You're so powerful. That's what I felt like. I'm yeah. like, dude, look at us. And we and Lena were celebrating. It's stupid, but we're like, we're doing our taxes together. We're getting shit done and like enjoying the moment together. And yeah, you know, Teddy's excited. Food's in the fridge again. I'm psyched, man. I, I you know, the simple things in life are the gifts. <laughs> Mm-hmm. The journey you should enjoy. You shouldn't be doing a journey that you hate, bro. Yeah. You shouldn't be doing a journey that is taxing mm-hmm. all the time. Yeah. Then because you get to the end of the road and the music stops playing mm-hmm. and you're there where you thought you wanted to be like Will Smith at the Oscars and what happens after all that grind and putting smiles on when you feel like shit and being trashed by all the media because of what happened with your wife and all this stuff, you're at your moment on your night and you slap Chris Rock in the face, man. And hit the hit the sound. <laughs> hit it, dude. Oh. That's you. I mean, so I'm trying to enjoy I think, the dance. I think we found like we found our truths. Yeah. And the truth will set you free. We're just at one and chapter of is, our man. life, Mike. It might change. But yeah. just in this chapter, that's where I yeah. find myself and you find yourself. Yeah. I agree. You were a podcast? Where's the camera? Already. We done. We did it. We did it, guys. Back again. We're going to miss you. We're going to miss you for another week. Shout out to the patrons on Patreon. Patreon.com slash you are here podcast. Mm, thank you, guys. Go check out the Twitch because we're going live. We're, we're going, going live. live every Monday around 8 p.m. Monday scaries. Dude, we're playing you can the talk new Resident to us. Evil. You can, you can get scared of us. We're playing that new Resident Evil. It's terrifying. But we really enjoy we're it. We're having a good time, man. Guys, if you're having a tough week, reach out. If you're having yeah. a tough day, a tough moment, you're at work, you're, you're whatever you're doing right now. I know the podcast coming to an end. It's kind of a crummy feeling, but we are still alive and present in the moment, I think, we as are, of now, man. hopefully. Oh, we are. Um, but reach out. You know, some people reached out to me. I'm grateful. Um, and I'm, we're, we're open. We're an open book. We're down to talk. Uh, thanks for helping us out. Thanks for liking, subscribing, Patreon members, all the Keep people that support us. Keep our wife's name out your fucking mouth! My name is Mike, and I'm signing out. I mean, my name's Dave, and I love y'all. Please be kind to one another. <laughs> Not like Will Smith. <laughs> Jeez.